my father that I know, I don't think you'll have had time for Twitter. Probably if he was younger, like in his 30s, when he started off, because he formed his political press, he had these young African pioneers, he probably would have had somebody young to manage it, and somebody would have been typing messages for him. Probably what he would have been doing is what he was doing with the media. He used to put an advert in one of the papers, The Punch, and he was like saying something against it. Maybe the government will come up with a message today, saying we'll give you light, electricity, and my father will reply with a small advert in the paper. If the social media was there at the beginning of his political troubles with the government, he would have really capitalized on it to really be hard on the government. I think because of my father, everybody's so on that level of challenging the government through the social media. I think it's, for me, it's very boring because we are doing so much talking, but nobody is doing anything about what we are saying. When we be picking. On all the sax, it's my first son, Femi Anikuna Bokuti. Why I treat so much is because nobody believes it's me in the first place. Now the generation following me are very young. They're like 18, 15 to 25 following me. And they can't believe somebody my age can tweet the way I tweet. I spend many minutes arguing with this young boy or girl that it's not you. Okay, prove it is you. Then I have to maybe make a phone call. Okay, is it you? So I call the person. It's me, Femi Kuti. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. It's very interesting because my generation don't, we don't talk like this. But I like the, I like falling into that category. It's less political, which I like to move away from now these days. So if I can move out of there a bit and just talk about very silly things. They can be very stupid really. But I, I like that escape route. It's fun because they are very young and I'm tired of talking politics sometimes. Thank you.